The Insect Orchestra, created by Melissa Gillette. Buzz, whir, click, chirp. They sound like machinery, but they're actually insects. Is that a water sprinkler or a slender meadow katydid? Stridulating crickets scrape their upper wings over comb-like ridges on the bottom of their wings to create a chirping sound. <coughs> Katydids rub their front wings together to make their song. Could you make sounds like that with a ridged bottle and a pencil or a plastic comb and a pen? What is that sound in the middle of the night? Is it a low battery in the smoke detector or the common house cricket? Both may have come from Asia but only Akena Domestics has been kept as a pet and doesn't need new batteries. Since they're not native to North America, houses and other structures keep them warm when the seasons change. The slender meadow katydid, Conocephalus fasciitis, whispers from the grass. The lawn sprinkler makes a similar sound, resetting its gears before sending out a spray of water. You may find a singing male on a warm summer afternoon and catch one by running a net through tall grass. After observing your finds, be sure to let them go. After a sticky, warm day of watermelon slices and outside play, we hear weird wind-up sounds in the shrubs that evening. Has my wind-up toy come to life? Or is it the American shieldback katydid, Atlanticus americanus? Let's go look for some. The Handsome Trig and Lemonade. This tiny guy, also called a red-headed bush cricket, Philopalpus pucellus, is what started this whole series. I found a number of them all around my yard. Then one evening, I heard a strange sound above my refrigerator. Was the ice maker acting up? I had never heard it before. A high-pitched staccato like something was about to happen. The closest I can compare it to is filling a glass full of ice and liquid and stirring it really fast with a metal spoon. But I will never forget that sound again. What's the buzz? The tiny pine tree cricket, Ecanthus pinei, makes a loud ringing buzz amidst the needles of conifers, somewhat like a security alarm going off. You'll most often hear them right after dusk, 
Its green and brown coloring give it excellent camouflage, helping it hide. Not so much for this individual who tried to palm a pack of gum. Calling all katydids. Okay, calling the lesser pine katydid. Or Kelebum minor and the woodland meadow katydid. Conocephalus nemoralis. The lesser pine katydid is a beautiful insect with orange eyes and legs and colorful green body with yellow markings, purring with anticipation as it calls and waits for an answer. The woodland meadow katydid is well camouflaged, hardy, and has several color variations. Listen for the uneven trills like the dialing of a rotary phone as they hide among the weeds and saplings. What's in a name? The common true katydid, Pterophylla camelifolia, is actually the only member of this genus. Males use a large, brown, stridulating surface above the wings to make their signature pulsing ch -ch -ch sound. Bulky and bright green, the large forewings cannot fly, but bow out to amplify their call. They will call louder and quicker in warmer weather and synchronize their calls creating a resonating loud chorus. Would you compare it to a running dishwasher or a car wash or something else? Rewind time. The marsh conehead, Neoconocephalus palustris, is commonly found perched on cattails and tall grasses to eat and sing. The flattened, pointy body reminds me of the Hitachi Maxell ad Blown Away Man by Steven Steigman. But this little guy is relatively quiet. Its bright green color makes it easier to find on darker green leaves, but there is a brown variety as well. They do not like the limelight, however, so keep your flashlight down when looking for them at night. Click, click, click. The fork-tailed bush katydid, Scuderia fricata, ticks intermittently. It is called fork-tailed because of the U-shaped lobes at the end of its abdomen. I found this common species hanging out by my doorway last summer. Who let me handle him? Sitting by the backyard fire pit, I'd point out the lighter flick sounds I'd hear in the bushes, excited to identify them. They call late in the day and through the night. <laughs> 